Hello everybody, my name's Storm Bear Williams. Today I wanted to talk about how I started Books for Soldiers and what Books for Soldiers is all about. <clears throat> Back during the uh, first Gulf War, when uh, Iraq invaded uh, Kuwait, my friends from college, they got shipped off to Saudi Arabia. They were part of, they were all National Guardsmen. And the war went quickly. In less than four days, it was all over with. But the problem was they didn't come back as quickly as they left. And I heard on the news that they were very bored. They had nothing to do. They couldn't leave the base, and they were stuck in Riyadh. And so I said, well, you know, I got all these science fiction and fantasy books hanging around my house. I'll send them to my buddies there at the uh, hospital in Riyadh and cleaned out the house got them shipped them all off and after a month or so they had read all the books they sent me a letter hey can you send more books we're kind of out we read everything that you've already sent us so I hadn't read any more books really so I got uh, guilted all my friends to send me give me their books and then I sent all of those off to Riyadh and it was like a couple years, I was getting letters from people I did not know, giving me thanks and gratitude for sending them a book. You know, they really did appreciate it. It helped the weight from the war go more smoothly for them. Then 9-11 happened. And, and I knew I wanted to do the very same thing, but I couldn't do it all. I mean, I, knew I would need help. And so, Books for Soldiers was born. You know, I thought that the war would it's going to last about six months. It'll all be over. Soldiers will be back. It would be a nice short-term project. <laughs> it was not. It was not a short-term project at all. <sighs> this is year 22 of Books for Soldiers. And at its peak, we've had about a quarter million volunteers. We were shipping books at a rate of a hundred thousand packages a week to u.s soldiers in all branches of the military all around the world and, and during the first 20 years we provided about 32 million dollars in aid to u.s soldiers to u.s members of the military and i couldn't be more proud of that um and so at the 20-year anniversary mark i thought well maybe we've done all the good we can do you know, we have exited Afghanistan. Um, there's not really any more conflicts that we're going through. Let's just mothball the site and, you know, keep it, and keep our powder dry for another day. But we didn't go six months without the need for the United States to protect democracy here and abroad again. So I'm calling on all of my old volunteers. I'm calling on new volunteers to rise up and help in just a small little way to help our troops abroad. I've gotten many letters and you, my, the old volunteers can uh, definitely speak to this. They get letters of gratitude and thanks all the time from the people that they sent packages to through Books for Soldiers. And over the years, I've probably gotten over a thousand letters specifically from soldiers that we helped telling me that they really thanked me for sending them a book from a total stranger because it gave them the courage to take the gun out of their mouth. You and I, we people that have never served, we have no clue what they go through. We just don't. And if something as simple as a book from a stranger back home can trigger that kind of a response, I know deep down in my heart this is something we have to continue to do. So again, all those librarians that love them, some books for soldiers, all those people scouring eBay for cheap books to send to soldiers, all those people wandering around used bookstores, snatching up deals however you could, please consider coming back. And if you're new, you are welcome to. Again, thank you much, so much for all your, all your help. Without the volunteers, none of this would have been possible. Thank you.